Hello and welcome back to Star Stable with Stacy. I'm standing here with Linda, Lisa, and Alex, and we have a grand adventure in store. So let's get started. Come on, there's no time to lose to Mrs. Holdsworth. Last one there is a rotten egg. All right, we're gonna go check in with. Oh, I, I'm, I'm gonna be last, I think. <laughs> Poor Frost Torch and I were just left behind. We'll see you guys there, I guess. Does this make us a rotten egg? I don't want to be a rotten egg. Good afternoon, my dears. What are you all doing here together? And what's the hurry? You have a good memory, Linda. I remember it was a while ago that you borrowed and read that book. But to answer your question, yes, there is a way to disguise yourself using a magical transformation. Pay attention. Your plan is bold, but it could work. The metamorphosis, the transformation, is, however, quite unstable. Unfortunately, the magic is easy to see through if you're on the lookout. Moreover, the effect doesn't last for long. But, just like you, I think that these guys working for Dark Core down there on the beach are pretty gullible anyway. There's a lot to prepare, and I am missing a few ingredients. This will take some time, I'm afraid, girls. Of course, Mrs. Holdworth, we can help you to prepare whatever you need help with, and we can pick up the stuff you are missing. Thank you so much, Linda. I'm missing three ingredients. The first is ice thistles from the frozen parts of the hidden dinosaur valley. The second is swamp water with a light reflection of a will-o'-the-wisp from the cauldron swamp. The third ingredient is an algae that can be found on the rocky beaches of South Hoof. Places are really scattered about. How about we split up so we can gather the ingredients faster? Yeah, let's do that. I could stay here and help Mrs. Holdsworth with the preparations. I can ride to Fort Pinta and take the ferry to South Hoof to get the algae. Cool, Tin Can and I are psyched to ride to the hidden dinosaur valley and look for the ice thistle, aren't we, Tin Can? Brilliant. Nova, now we know what we have to get and are in the process of doing that. Lisa and Alex are already on the way. Mrs. Holdsworth, what can I help you with? Nova, I'm helping Mrs. Holdsworth with the preparations here to save time, but she'll ride to Golden Hills Valley and the Cauldron Swamp to get the swamp water with the reflection of Will of the Wisp in it. Watch it so you don't fall in when you're collecting the swamp water, and above all, don't come into contact with the Will of the Wisp itself. It likes to lure visitors into the deadly swamp water. Don't let yourself be fooled. Finding a place where the Will of the Wisp is reflected in the black water shouldn't be hard. It's just a matter of finding a good place with a good angle towards the glowing Will of the Wisp. Here, take this glass bottle to collect the water. See you back here again soon. Thank you. I feel like they gave us the most dangerous task. <laughs> You've now reached the Cauldron Swamp. Better be careful. Mrs. Holdsworth needs swamp water from the Cauldron Swamp. Fill the bottle where the light from the Will of the Wisp is reflected. Use the bottle you brought with you. Okay, I have it. But don't look at it or something. <laughs> Be cautious. Excellent. I guess that wasn't so dangerous after all. Ooh, that's quite the potion she has brewing. Thank you, my dear. Fine droplets. The others are here already, so we've been waiting for you. Sorry, I didn't mean to take so long. While this is simmering in the cauldron, I have something to tell you. Because I have something very special for you. Listen carefully. I have a dozen sleep bombs that you can have. Of course she does. Perhaps you've heard of the sleep bombs that many witches and shadow sorceresses use. These are of the same sort. Mrs. Holdsworth, you've got some interesting tricks up your sleeve. You throw the glass bottle at whoever you want to fall asleep. Oh, that's perfect. These will be great when we come to free Justin. We have no idea what will happen to us there. These will come in very handy. Exactly. Use them with extreme caution and only if you have to. Keep them for as long as you can. You never know when you will really need them. Yes, and if our disguise doesn't work, then we have a plan B with the help of these sleep bombs. Yes, it feels safer that you have them and to know that you can defend yourselves properly if you need to. It will keep me calm during the night. I can carry all the sleep bombs in the meantime. Thanks, Lisa. Well then, here you are, Lisa. Don't drop them or bump them into anything. If any of the bottles break, everyone here will fall asleep straight away and it could be dangerous. 
Please dismount your horses now. I think it's time for a tasting. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited. Well, I'll get down. I'll go first. I think everything is ready now. Dismount your horses and come closer. It was a bit tricky to get this done so quickly for you, but you know what, my friends? Thanks to Linda here, we won't have to wait until tomorrow. Everything is ready, but the drink won't taste very nice. Be careful now, take a sip to check the effect. Remember to focus on the person you want to be disguised as when you drink this. That's the person you're going to look like. Thank you so much, Mrs. Holdsworth. Let's check that this actually works. Remember, only a small sip and focus on the dark core minions. Okay, on three? Yes, one, two, three. Now we'll see. Oh, Nova. Oh, oh, it worked. Linda did it. Wow. Ooh. Oh, yay. We're a dark horror minion too. Never thought I would say that. Oh, she's Justin. Had to get fancy on us, I guess. Alex? Haha, <laughs> but Alex. Oh, no, sorry. I started thinking about Justin since we're going to rescue him. That wasn't the intention. <laughs> I'll try again. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> there. Testing completed. It worked really well. Next time I'll be more careful and really focus on the right... Ugh. What happened? Thanks so much for your help, Mrs. Holdsworth, and an extra big thank you for the sleep bombs. We really have to go now. Nova, Lisa, and Alex, now let's ride down to Moreland Beach. Let's steal a barge. Ooh. -hoo. The adventure begins. Frost Torch, are you ready? He's always ready. Okay, everyone, it's time. Dismount. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to put my horse inside your horse. It was an accident, I swear. The plan is for Nova and Lisa to walk up to the guard and loudly explain that they have been given orders from the highest authority to transport four horses to the headquarters. While you're talking, Alex and I will board the barge with our horses and try to start the barge's engine. When you have finished chatting to the guard, you'll board with the horses, okay? Is everyone ready? We've only got one shot at this. Remember that we have to focus on the right person now. I'm ready. Good, I'll count. One, two, three, drink! Oh, here we go. Oh, no. That wasn't quite right, Nova. <laughs> Oh, this isn't nerve-wracking at all. It's fine. It'll be fine. Stop. Who are you? What do you want? What? You're transporting horses. Worker 137 here. Yes, I'm bringing new orders. Could we borrow a barge, old man? Me, Alex, Linda, and... Oops. I mean... <laughs> I'm gonna go with the top one. Oh, oh. What? Uh, Alex, why are you run why are you running? <laughs> Don't blow our cover. New orders? What orders? Uh, did I say orders? We would like some help to get a barge, please. <laughs> yes, please. Not again. <laughs> if they just escorted them calmly, a barge to transport horses. I'm just going to check the papers. Oh, never mind that. It can't be important. You may have the wrong papers. These are not the horses you're looking for. I said it can't be important, and I'm wondering if the- No! We've been spotted! Run! Run, run! Drats. Uh-oh. Oh no, this is not going according to plan. Sleep bombs. Do we get to use sleep bomb? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> they are down for the count. Oh, except that guy. That was close. I used a couple of sleep bombs. They obviously work well. Oh, I'm sorry. Watch out, there's more guards running over from the beach. We have to defend the boat from here. We can't get on board right now. 
Nova, take a bunch of sleep bombs and help me keep the guards away from the barge. We're struggling to get the barge started. I'll fix it soon. Stay strong. Keep the guards away from us. Lisa, Nova, watch out. Lots of guards are coming along the beach. Keep them away from the barge. Throw sleep bombs at the guards before they reach the barge. Throw the bombs by keeping the arrow over a guard and left-clicking your mouse. Oh, goodness. Okay. Guard coming. Down. Down for the count. Is it this guy? Is it gonna be this guy? Yep. That guy. And that guy. I feel like we're using a lot of these sleep bombs. Excellent. Linda and I are trying to get this miserable thing started. We need more time. Can you protect us from them for a little while longer? Of course, but hurry, there's more and more of them. Hang in there, we're working as quick as we can. Alex, is it the fuel line? Maybe you want a spanner? They'll never get on this barge. Naha. Yes, we got the engine started. Come on, everyone. Good work, Alex. Nova, Lisa, we got the boat started. Get on board now. We can't. There's too many of them. We'll never make it unless you want all of these guards on board, too. Go now, and we'll try to stop them from following you. Go to Fort Pinta Harbor. We'll see you in Fort Pinta. This was trickier than I thought it would be. Okay, see you at Fort Pinta Harbor. Oh, I don't like that we split up. This did not go great. This is my last sleep bomb. Oh no, I still have one more. Phew. They got the barge started, and now we're left here and we have no sleep bombs left. This is not good. No sleep bombs left and more and more guards. We have to run. Come on, Nova. We have to try and shake them off. We'll run in different directions. Take, take a ride up there, okay? See you at Fort Pinta Harbor later. More splitting up. I don't like this. I don't like that we used all of our sleep bombs. We, we needed to, like, bring those with us, I thought. Uh. Well. Oh, I meant start over. Okay, we made it past the guards. I don't think we'll see any more. Okay, we made it. Good, Lisa's here. Phew, it looks like we managed to shake them off. That was really close. I'm so annoyed that we had to use all the sleep bombs. Me too, Lisa! Me too! We were really lucky to manage to shake off all the dark core guards. Linda sent a message. They're hunting for another barge and have to take a detour, so they'll probably not get here until tomorrow morning. Unfortunately, we don't have much more before Linda and Alex picks us up tomorrow. So now you and I just have to avoid all the dark core underlings and wait until tomorrow. Lay low. Don't let any of the dark core guards see you. Make sure you rest up properly. Tomorrow we won't be able to rest until Justin has been saved and we're all back to safety. Oh, Lisa. I can't wait to save Justin! Before we wrap up for today, I wanted to take a peek at three beautiful new Pinto Arabians that have arrived in Jorvik. We're here at Goldspur Farm, just outside Jarlaheim, to take a peek at these new buddy buddies. Buttles? New buttles? Ah, oh, they're so pretty! You guys will have to let me know in the comments if you picked out any of these. We picked out one of the Pinto Arabians when they originally were released, Bullet Candy, who's amazing. I highly recommend this horse. I like it a lot. And with three new colors to pick from, oh, look at those beautiful blue eyes. You can't go wrong with these ones. So thanks for joining me today. I will catch you guys next time on Star Stable with Stacy when we are going to hopefully go save Justin. <laughs> hopefully that will actually happen next time. We'll see. <laughs> Let me know which Pinto Arabians you guys have and what their names are. See you later. Bye.